free. The Ottoman Aquarium is reopening today after months of renovations, and if you haven't been there yet, it looks fantastic. We are very excited, and its new design allows you to check out two observatories in one building. Leah McNeil joins us live there now with a look inside, and she says it smells new. <laughs> Good morning, Leah. What? <laughs> the building, she oh, said it okay. smells new. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, you know, like when you get a new car, it has that new car smell. The building has a new building smell. That's what I meant. Um, we are here at the Audubon Aquarium and Insectarium here inside their brand new $41 million facility. That's what went into making this whole thing happen. Once you come up the stairs, you end into the aquarium, you see these beautiful South American nettles jellyfish. They are so cool. I learned they actually don't have eyes and they feed themselves with their tentacles you see right there. Super, super cool. Once you see those, you can see the one of their newest exhibits down the bayou. It features everything Louisiana, our food, give you a little hint into the culture, and of course, the food that we love to eat. Some crawfish are actually in there as well. Once you walk in, you see Chapatulis. He's the albino alligator in here. So a lot of cool things, a lot of fun stuff to see. Joining me now to give us a little bit more insight of what we have inside this section of Down the Bayou is Zach. Zach, I know you typically work with insects, but you know, you, you know a little bit of everything here. So tell me, what is it like seeing, you know, all these different Louisiana, you know, things here all in one area for everyone to see? Well, I've been with Audubon for a long time. This aquarium has been around for a long time, and it hadn't had a renovation in its over 30-year history. And what it's like for me, because that's what you asked, <laughs> it's fantastic. This is so immersive. Uh, we've just created a beautiful mood in here. As you said, it's not just about the animals, but it's about the diversity and the culture that we have in South Louisiana. And the Mississippi River, you know, it's our lifeblood. And from it, you get not only beautiful animals like our white alligator, but we have turtles, we have fish, we have crustaceans. It's fantastic. Awesome. So let's take a look and see what else they have in here. I know there's some crawfish we have right there in the back. There's also some blue crabs that, you know, we always love to indulge in, especially when it comes to the gumbo. But there's also a lot of fish tank here. You see some of these ancient fish, some living fossils that have been found around the bayou, some freshwater fish, the big mouth buffalo fish, the common carp. I mean, there's just so much going on here. I mean, what what is your favorite thing about this exhibit? I have to ask. <laughs> I love Chompatulis, uh, and, and I have to correct you, he's not an albino because okay. those animals have no pigment, oh. and they have usually pink or red eyes. He's leucistic, which is a subtle but very interesting distinction, and the reason I love Chompatulis so much is that when the insectarium opened and he was this big, we had him on display at the other facility. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was terrific, and so I've watched him grow up. I mean, we've had him since 2009 <laughs> in our care. He's big, he's healthy, and it's just a great way to start a fantastical visit by seeing this almost mythical thing, a white yeah. alligator. Coming down the bayou, huh? Yeah, and, and as it turns out, mm -hmm. the last thing when you go down the bayou is another one of my favorites. When I started working with Audubon, I handled birds of prey, and, and we, did, we did presentations with barred owls, and we have a barred owl here, too. Ooh. And they're terrific. Yeah, they are super cool. I heard one of them hooting a little while ago. We'll bring y'all down there in the next hour, though. I'll bring you guys so much more throughout the rest of the show. Reporting live, Leah McNeil, Eyewitness News. And Leah, have you gone down by the insectarium where Zach is the expert? It's beautiful down there. <laughs> <laughs> They've been trying to get her to I'm, eat I'm going to go down there right now. <laughs> Zach is, yeah, Zach, he wants me to eat a bug, y'all, but that's just a lot for and 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't so want we'll you see. to eat a bug know. this morning. I want you to, <laughs> to stay away from that, but if you Thank you, Whitney. You know, Thank you for your support. You. I'll go ahead and service to the eyewitness Bring morning Eric news. Bring Eric a bug. Now, see, I, wouldn't, I was there the other night. I won't eat one either. <laughs> How about you come here you eat a bug, Eric? How about that? I, I How faked about that? him out uh, when I was there, so. All right. I, I get it. I get it, Leah. We'll